Queen Tokozo and Kulukim Ugutingbe Nani Nam Sandrik Singh. To me, is a, it is a great joy to be with you this morning. Bengham Bangiting Hambi Sonte Lotwa Gotwa Kwazukaba Ama Sontama Beach. I went, I thought I'd be gone for a week, but it turned out to be two weeks. Sahamba Gatsegakul. We went very well. Zabuyak Tank. Day before yesterday, we arrived back. Izolo Tambam says, I would avoid was in Polwini Ushile. Yesterday evening, we heard that our brother from Polwini had passed away. Ubekuli is Kati Esiku, and as Uti Amazon Tamata to Noma Mane, who I see you. He was a, a Kappa, a Cape, Cape Town. He was sick for a long time, perhaps three, four weeks in the ICU in Cape Town. Isolo Tamba Mangatai Agengi Gimvaka Shale. Yesterday afternoon I thought maybe it's an appropriate time to visit him. Bengham Bile Nabuyala Go Six. Gizakaba and good things of Gwen Zenjani, no man in Vagashele in a kappa Ganti Umazi Figango five, go six, but Sazi Sugutu Seshile, Gushugutum for it was in Poluini Ushile. So we had been, we had, be, we were away, and when we came back. I was contemplating whether I should maybe go and visit him down in Cape Town, but then at about six o'clock we got the news that he had passed away. So my Ube brother has passed away. Es kates kulu. He had been not well for a long time. Ube ses pelse la ku ICU kota benga su ugu tiku ugu ICU moba beng salangim. Shaye Lukin Gonchalo, and Fichle Luguti, Nigo ICU. So this happened yesterday. I was not aware that he was in the ICU because we were in constant contact by phone, but um, I never heard from him that he was actually in the ICU. Ubegu ICU, Amason Tamata, to no man. Kaning he best in Tanang in Gringo. He was got Oben and Uben Fiche Luguti, who says Pedre Lago ICU. So he had been in the ICU for three, four weeks. We were in constant contact telephonically, but he hid it from me that he was in the ICU. Besitim Taube, Uzo Shechabuye. Kantu uma si fige la epsugungo six. Baspigele ugutingo five. Inko si amtat. So um, we, had, um, we had been gone and at about five o'clock we returned. So, oh, sorry, at six o'clock we got the news that he had passed away at five o'clock. Unduabo asaz utuzo banini asaz no utuzo ba kupinenda wo basa shela ngoba usenza nse kapa ubesenga nini zake wakula wachala kisha masonda mane go ICU kato abeng salam kuluma na yengi ngotingo jina kundo guti. So regarding the funeral arrangements, we have not heard because he passed away in Cape Town. So we still expect to hear news from them where it will be and when it will be. Um, but he had been visiting his children in the Cape and then they fell ill and was then for about four weeks in the ICU 
So he had been visiting his children there, and on the visit he fell and was taken, admitted to hospital, and then was late in the ICU for about three to four weeks. And me not being aware that he was in the ICU, but we were telephonically in contact. So he is the first of our brothers whom the Lord has taken. So it was, he, it was Uncle Bodo who had been visiting his children down in the Cape and on the visit, a visit he fell and then was admitted to hospital and then also into the ICU for quite a number of weeks, three to four weeks. But yesterday we received the news that he had passed. When Kulumenae Stintana Njalo City, Sukse Duze, Uguti, Abuye, Ganting Kozi Sizum Tat. We had conversations over the phone with him. We were hoping that he would return soon, not knowing that the Lord was going to take him. So he is Uncle Bodo, who came originally from the Mpolwini area. He is the first of us brothers whom the Lord has now taken. Isolo. He had been visiting his children down in the Cape and then it happened that he fell was admitted to hospital and then was in the ICU for about three, four weeks. And we were in contact with him telephonically quite often hoping that he would soon return back home, but we didn't know that the Lord was going to take him so soon. And I, and I told my brother, my brother, when you are back, I wish to come and visit you soon, not knowing that the Lord was going to take him so soon. Regarding the funeral, we have not yet heard because he was visiting his children down in the Cape whether it will take place there in the Cape, or whether it will happen up here, we don't know. But I had offered that if he needs to be fetched, we, are, we will gladly fetch him. Bengitin Zotalamasonta, 
isonte loto anje le kanti ngahlala kwaze kwaba ngasonta mabili i'm so thankful that i am back now we were gone for two weeks i had intended maybe only to stay for a week but now we have returned manje singakalifundi zile nkosi Before we read God's word, shall we pray? Lord, take the service that it be in your hands. Work in a wonderful way amongst us. Touch our hearts. And work above our prayers and our thinking amen amen kusho ukuthi ngizocela bangibekele isihlalo la uma ngikhathala bese ngihlale noma ngingavela ngihlale nje i will ask them for a chair maybe it will help me that i do not tire too much uma usukugile umzimba ubuyo uphela amandla ngelini ilanga if you are old the body some days just tires niyazi kuma ngishumayela ngezinye ikhathi ngishumayela isikhathi esingaka you know when i preach at times i speak for long periods kodwa Ngizimisele ukuba namhlanje ngikhulume isikhathi esingaphakathi. But I'm determined today that I will just speak a very short while. Ukuze nqonde ukuthi angikhulume into engaka zonke inchuzi. That you Ngelini ilanga ngikwenze kube kufushane. That you also understand at times I also speak for short periods I don't always speak for long periods. Kusho ukuthi mayivuma inkonzo inkosi le nkonzo izoba inkonzo efushane ngaka nje So Lord willing this service will be a very short service Ukuze nibone ukuthi angiluli njalo ngesi isikhathi shumayela isikhathi esincane nje that you will also see that I don't always speak for a long time but i can also make it short bengingekhoke ngile enamibia i was not here i was in namibia bengithing zohambi sonto elodwa kanti uma ngiphaphama bese kudlule amaviki amabiki I had intended maybe to go for a week but then when I awoke two weeks had transpired So I'm thankful to be here now Jabule futhi ukuthi ngibe khona uma umfo wethu eseshiya And so grateful that I can be here in the time in which our brother was taken amongst us kodwa akekho la ule egaba ngoba ezinye ingane zakhe zile ubevakashele khona uma eli wayiselimala ewa wagula kakhulu wahlala esibhedlela isikhathi esikhulu amcisho masonto amane kodwa kaze angivezele ukuthi ngilimele ngangaka bengithi uzobuya noma nini isixoxa ngithi hayi umfo wethu umusu ubuyile sokuxoxa kamnandi my brother was not at home he was visiting some of his children we were in contact over the phone but he held it from me that he was so severely ill and we spoke and said brother if you are back then i will come and visit you and then you can we can converse for a long time angazike 
Jungle Uba is doom, Busile Kappa, Ugutti Buso Kubega Ganga Ganjani, Gotong Shilo Ugutti, Betanda Singaland is doom, Busake, Sibuele la Enatal, Gotwas Kagesuake Manche, Ugutti, Baso Wenzenjani, Jungle Uba Ele Enzan Singaniniza. Now, as he was with his children, we do not know regarding the funeral proceedings. We have offered that we can be of assistance to them. If the corpse needs to be brought up, we have offered our help in that as well. So we will have to hear from them how they wish things to proceed. <laughs> I am thankful to be with you again. I was really longing for you. Today I can relate to you many things. But I determined just to speak for such a short time. You see how short that is? Very short. I am determined to speak only for a short while where in fact I could tell you so many things. Because people say that when I preach, I preach for a long time. But today, I want to speak for a short time. Just in short. So I'm so happy to be with you. So we left here on our trip to Namibia. In Namibia, Kugute, Kule, Sihamba Mahora Mani, Gepanui. It's quite a distance. We flew for about four hours with a plane that has quite speed, quite travels at quite a speed. Sasuga Uluan Sela, Saya Uluan Segali. We went from this side of the ocean to the other side of the land to the other ocean. We traveled very well, we went well. I thought I would just go for one week, but it landed up to be two weeks. Today I wished for the service just to be short. Although it seems that people are now saying that I preach for long time, over a long time, or, but I will want to make it short, even though my heart is flooding over, flowing over. I'd like to preach, maybe my, my shortest sermon. Something is a kuluma in chumelo yami, edul e emfishana gunazo zonke. Vesile e Namibia. We were there in Namibia. Manjunga Bali ke uti seku inkonso. Aikange inkonso. Now don't add this time to the service. The service has not started as such. The message. Abantu bazu uti nshumayeli zin, nshumayeli zin gaga. Kota namusangi funu uti nshumayeli gana ite ngakaji. Because people talk and say, I now speak for su such lengths, but today I wish it to be very short. 
Ningakabalike Uti Sangya Shumayela. Ngisako. Angashumayeli. So this is not yet the sermon. I am still relating to you things. Siabonga, okay? So we are so thankful, I am thankful to be amongst you today. There's so much that I could speak. We come from a different country, which is nearly like a desert. Not nearly, it is a desert. A pure bread desert. Isane. When it is a salu evige lot. Kotwa umang papama besugu amasodama bil. I had intended only to stay for a week, but then two weeks had flown by so quickly, unexpectedly. Sasuka la eluanse. We flew from this ocean. Sahamba. Sasasafiga kululuanse olwangali. And we flew and arrived at the other ocean. Sindis amasontam amahora amane. Flying four hours. Unkulunkulu. Wabanati Ulelozwe Lasenamibia. And God was with us in that land Namibia. Wishani. It is a desert. Elinizwe. A different country. Lana Ilanga Lipumala Lishonali. Le to us, the sun rises here and sets there. And in that place, it seems just the opposite to that. Amazing to experience that so. My heart is full, it's overflowing. And I can speak for a very long time. But because it seems that everybody knows that I speak for such a long time, I have wished just to speak for a short time. We met up with many things and my heart is overflowing. Now this is just an introduction that I am saying. It is not part of the sermon. Sahamba, Sahamba. So we, we flew from this side of the ocean to the other side of the ocean. So don't look at your watches. This is just an introduction, what I am saying now. So flying from one shore of the land to the other shore of the continent where the sun rises here over the ocean and it's just the opposite. It's, and we see it there. It seems to be just the opposite to here. So I 
So don't look at your watches. Remember the choir was also singing and I'm just introducing Gis, the sermon. Gitandu, kudumis, kates, pusha, I just wish to speak for a short while. Kodwa, ngibona ukuthi kungaba yiphutha ngimfihlele ukuthi ngivela phi. Ngivele enamibia lapho ilanga lingaphumi la elwandle kodwa liphuma intshona langa liyali. So um, you will bear with me. I thought you I would, didn't want to hold it from you where we were. We were at Namibia, here where the sun rises over the ocean, and there it sets over the ocean. Lana, kukono ksaza, kukoni miti, le isi sabati sotwa. Sotwi sane, isane lkulu. Here we have greenery, we have green trees. Over there, it is just bare sand, like it, a desert. But I am so thankful to be here now, and even when my brother passed away, that I was able to be here. Here, here it is green. We're living in a place of abundance. There, there is no sprouting, no green, except if you keep it in your house. Nothing grows. Sasuga la ululuante, sahamba, sahamba, sasa si fige, ulu uluante, olung, olangali. So we traveled from here, this ocean, till we got to the other ocean on the other side of the continent. Lagiti ni langali pumala, eluante, vesel shonali. Lenake ilanga li puma le li shoning up. Pampane nala. So even the rising of the sun is here from the out of the east over the ocean and it sets here in the west. But if you there, it seems as if it comes out over the land and then it sets over the ocean, contrary to one's experience here. So you understand why I say we come from a different country. Now I wish to preach on the desert by the word of the Lord. We will read out of Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah 35. Let us pray. We ask you, Lord, that you would now be with us, speak to us through your holy word. Amen. Amen. Isia Enzo Funda Gulo Kuisaya Isatsugusangamashuma Matatu Nestan. The word I will read is taken from Isaiah chapter 35. Kuyakuba kona umendo nenzela eyakutiwa inzela yobungwele ongolileyo akayi kuhamba ngayo ngoba 
Inzela, Ioba Inzela, Yabandu Bake, Abahamba Nayo, Noma Beziula, Abai Utuga Gulo, Guyo. Verse 8 And a highway shall be there, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if they are fools, they shall not go astray. Kuningo kusenshit zwenyami enga koka. Ginga koka kuzuk shayu tu, shayu sri, msambe nga pezu lufut. There's so much on my heart. I could speak till two o'clock, three o'clock, and maybe even later. Kotwa. But I determined just to speak for a short time. Because it seems I known for that I now preach so long. So today, I wish to preach for a very short time. So don't, so don't look at your watches. I was just um, telling you of our trip that we went. So we left in the morning and flew from this ocean to the other ocean. As you know, the ocean is here and on the other side. The place... So that land there is different to ours. The sun comes up from this, out of this direction, sets in that direction. And there it seems as it comes up in, from this direction and sets in the other direction. So I um, have so much on my heart. I could speak for a long time because some say I tend now to speak for very long. But that's why I have determined maybe just to let the sermon be very short. Maybe as it starts, it's soon going to end. So, as you have heard, the sun rises here in the east, sets in the west. There it feels as if it rises in the west and in the east sets. Such a this is, that is a different land, a different country. Don't look at your watches. I had just given you an introduction. And you will be amazed if you are there. Your sense of direction will be quite different because it seems as if the sun is rising in the west and setting in the east. Here we are surrounded by green. There, there is no green. It's only desert land. Before we continue again, let us pray. Be amongst, be amongst us, Lord. Keep us. 
Work in our hearts that your name be glorified. Amen. Amen. When it is so humble, is on the Lord. God was a humble, but on the Mabid. We had intended to only go for a week, but it turned out to be two weeks. In Landi, say, Mok Steben Zap Kankulunkulu. And I could tell you of the working of God. I have seen I have said from here previously, God is at work in a way as he has never worked before. And if you are not experiencing it, then something is wrong in your own heart that you need to change and repent. So we met, we met up with so much. We had intended only to go for one week, but we went for two weeks. We were away for two weeks. So thankful to be with you today. Maybe much. I will withhold from you. I will just speak for a short time. Namibia is a different world. As I have said, here the sun rises over the ocean sets over land. There it rises over land and sets over the ocean. And we met up with so much. But maybe the Lord will give us another opportunity that um, I can inform you. But today I wish to speak for only a very short time. And that is in a country where the, land rise, where the sun rises over the land and sets in the other direction over the ocean. Now I wish to read this word. In Isaiah 35. Agai ku hampang ayo, kepa ia kuba ngea bantu bake. Aba hampang ayo, noma beisi ula, abai ku tuka kuyo. In verse 8 it says, And a highway shall be there, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if they are fools, they shall not go astray. Lelizwi laba izwi elis manga ngeskati seri vaiveli ngo 66. This word to us was an amazing word during the time of the hour outbreaking of the revival in 66. Ngoba, ngogomoya, izwe lagiti, velfana nesane. Koto vestanda asoguti, unkulunkulu ese, atululumoya wake, isane, libe ingati. Because at that time, the land was to us like a desert. And that's why we prayed to the Lord 
that he would come down and change the desert into a garden. Len lesi sasuko si kulumang esane. Here we hear this chapter speaks of a wilderness. Mo ba pambi we revival e impi is impiloze to be si fanane nesane. Because before the revival, our lives were like a wilderness and desert. O tala po kwe sungkulungkulu isane. But when God came down, this desert blossomed and was like a garden. Now I will leave what all I can say about that wilderness that we experienced there when nothing grows, but I will not speak about that any And as we read in Isaiah chapter thirty five. And this in verse eight in my Bible. Kuyakuba ko numendo. Nenzela e akutwa inzela yobunguele. Ogungo lile uakwa agai kuhamba ko na ngayo. Kepa iakuba ngi abantu ba ke abahamba ngayo. Noma be isiula abai kutu kaguyo. And a highway shall be there, shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if they are fools, they shall not go astray. We are from another country. As you know that our sun here rises here over the ocean in the east and sets in the west over land. But it is contrary there if you experience it coming the other way. It was a real desert. Sand. Sand. You can drive the whole day by car. And you will just see a bareness of only sand. So I could tell you of much, but I had said that I wish to make the sermon short. During the time of the outbreak of the revival, this chapter was so important and had such a deep meaning to us that the Christian lives at that time were like a desert. But then God, through his working, changed a desert, made it into a blossoming garden. No mimpilo yako, impi. No mga telis telo, ifana ne sane, koto uma kwe sunkulungkula sebente, ya kela, zio kukugizi, to kuvelis telo, o kubi kunga muke, ukseba, inzondo, inkani, ukusola, 
che appena. So even if the life is like a desert without fruit, without any beauty, no good fruit to be found, when God comes into the life, he changes that desert that your life can become fruitful, bearing fruit, and evil has got no place in that life. No um, gossiping, no hardness, stiff nakedness, all that comes to an end. Ukonde ukuthi ngaphambi kwe revival besithandazela kuphi ukuthi ihlane elingena kudla elisabathi sodwa siguqulwe sibe njengengathi So you can take this chapter at home read it that if God through his reviving power comes down your life that is just be fruitless can be transformed can become like a garden fruitful for the edification umu sekaya wo funda ku isaya 35 if you are a tone isatshuko sonke angina sikhathi ukwenza ngoba ngushile ukuthi angifuni ukuthi ngilibazise ngezinto Read this chapter at home and that you can experience what God can fulfill and bring about in a life that is changed from a desert into a garden, a blossoming garden green lush garden kodwa kusemqoka in verse 18 kuyaba khona umendo nendlela eyakuthiwa indlela yobungcwele ongcolileyo akayi kuhamba ngayo kepha iyakuba ngeyabantu bakhe abahamba ngayo but this is an important verse and a highway shall be there this verse 8 and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it it shall be revival if we pray for revival sikulekela u isaya 35 ekhaya anofunda if you want revival then read this word and let it work in you and see what the church of God should be like Unkulunkulu wakuluma nati Galesi satsuko Pamgwe revival in 66 God spoke to us through this chapter Before the revival in 1966 Kutuwa ku verse 18 Kuyaba konu mendo Nendlela Eya kutiwa indlela yobu nwele Ongo lileyo Akai kuhamba ngayo and this verse 8 says a highway shall be there shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it it shall belong to those who walk on the way if 
Excuse me for repeating this. If you go home, read Isaiah chapter 35 and understand what revival is and ask yourself, do you live this life? Here we hear of a highway there in the desert. Shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean will not walk on it. But it will be solely God's way. This chapter speaks of the life of a Christian. If you don't live this, you are not pleasing to God. Lapa esan es bonum kulum kulu esa et alin zela. Ebizon ukuti in zele lungileu umendo. Here we hear of God coming down and making a way. Uh, it shall be called the way of holiness. Utataluli. The desert is transformed into a garden. God coming down and changing the desert would produce no food, changes it to produce fruit in a place where the sun normally comes up here and sets there. It will come up there and set in the opposite direction. The desert in which nothing grows, it will sprout, it will blossom. Ungafunda, uma usesekaya, in verse 18, ningole lugu pinda pinda, ngoba kuyense ka ugutumundu, eze ngenela kupumela, afuti angazu isisi uguti, Take this chapter, read it at home. Pardon me for repeating this, but it is possible that a person hears, but he doesn't hear and grasp. It enters one ear and out the other, and he has lost it all. I can speak to you regarding a desert, a wasteland, till the sun sets, but I do not wish to do so. Read it for yourself and allow this word to speak to you. Verse 18. In verse 8, we read of a highway that will be there. It will be called the way of holiness, and the unclean will not walk on it. And I say, if you go home, take this chapter. I've repeatedly said, I don't know whether you hear this, whether you will really do so, whether you will pray and say, God, is my life like this? Lishonangap. 
I have said it before, and I repeat it as well, that the sun rises over the land and sets over the ocean in the opposite to what we experience. And so there's so much I can tell you, but I just touch on that. So in this wilderness, God will make a highway and will be called the way of holiness. And the, the unclean will not walk in it. Why? Because it is God's holy way. If you speak about revival and want to, you want to know what revival is, read this chapter and then you'll get a perfect picture of what a person is who is revived. Uma umunte kulumang e revival. Uma etandu klangan ne revival. Magafunde lisis sashlugo. Uzotola. Is tombe, is pelele, or uti, irrevival, i i ni. I verse 18, you go to a lagule lisane, who corner in sailor, who corner mendo, on wele, a gekon olileo, you go here we read of this way, the path and the highway that will be there. And it will be called the holy way. Why? Because it is God's way. If you want to know something about revival, Isaiah 35 is a perfect picture of a person who lives a revived life. He's like this. Here we hear in verse 8 that there will be a highway and it will be called the way of holiness. The unclean will not walk on it. It is God's way. This is a perfect picture of true revival. You can read it at home. If your life is accordingly, then you are revived. If not, then you are a dead Christian. No matter how long you've been a Christian, you are dead. Uma ufunda lisi sashlugo, zotolo guti umuntu, ofunu pila, nge revival. Ye is more stuart. Ye is ni ne tuat ni, ye is more stuart. As yo ni lewe, ni folkens, ni di huofstakas ni. Uma impilo yako, inga fani na lis, now I will end and close. I'd like to stop now. I told you I'll preach a short sermon. But you go home, you read this chapter. And you ask yourself on your knees, is my life like this? If not, 
don't let the sun go down without having repented and confessed your sins. Uma uye kaya tata lingwa dui fund us buzu buti impilo yami iya fane ini nayo uma inga fani fane lo buti ngamatolo ukuke ukale gunkulunkulu uvumi zono zaku ushugane nazo ukuke ekaya funda Isaiah thirty five uisho lo buti loko paluela. So prayerfully take this chapter and on your knees you examine yourself before God whether your life is like we read it here. Lasiswa ngomendo ngenzela ebizo ngutinzela yobungwele ake kongolileyo ohamba kuyo. Ngoba kuindlela kaNkulu Nkulu abantu bakhe bahamba kungayo leyo ndlela ubuyibuzo ukuthi impilo yakho inje nayini Here we read of a highway that will be there and it will be a way of holiness no unclean person shall walk on it ask yourself examine yourself whether my life is accordance to this word not only that the sun comes up there and down, goes down there, but if God is in your life, he'll revolutionize your whole life. Kuzo ba inse la ein, e ein chakona. Kutu a inse la ein kwele, e gan kulunkulu. Aban golileyo, abai gu hampangayu, aban goile botwa. There will be a new way, a holy way, God's way. No unclean person will walk on that way. It is God's way. It shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not walk on it. I am closing now. I finished my sermon. I don't know whether this that has been spoken has already attained and come and reached the bottom of your heart. Uibuze uguti lengwati ikazi mpilo yako hii. Uma kunge njalo, namsanja kube usuku lo penduka kwa ako. Noma uti usu penduka 35 years, 40 years. Kukona makristo wa matala afile, avolile. If you go home, take this chapter 35. You read it and ask yourself, is this a picture of my life? Or do you say, I have met the Lord 35 or 40 years ago. It's possible that you have met God so long ago, but today you have lost your colors. You... A highway shall be there called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not walk on it. That's where I am. Go home, take this word, read it on your knees and ask yourself, is my life identical to this word that we find here. Don't be disobedient and go home and don't do what I told you. Maybe I've spoken too much already. So that what you hear, you won't do it. Go home, read this 
chapter 35, ask yourself and examine yourself whether this is a picture of your life, whether you are like this. If not, don't let the sun set without having repented. Confess your sin and that God changes you completely. Yane Kaya Utate Lisi Sasugu Uzvivine Utin Kulunkulu in Pilu Yami, Ifana Nalen, Nanjangubalento, Esi Fundayo, Kungenjalo, Unga Yegi Penduga Ilanga Lingaga Shun. Verse eighteen Kuyakuba Ko na Umendo. Nenzela eya kutiwa inzela yobunwele ongolileyo akai kuhamba ngayo. It's eight. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not walk on it. By God's grace, I can speak long sermons, but today. I want to make it very short. You take this book, go home on your knees, and read Isaiah 35. A perfect picture of revival and a person who walks with God. And ask yourself, do I truly walk and live like this? If not, don't let the sun go down. It goes down in the west here. But that tomorrow, your old sun won't be like the sun today. Tate lengwa tu vivinya ngayo. Uzbuzu guti impilo yako. Istombe salent ona. Kungenjalo. Pendugo guze usugu laksasa uyoboni langa lipuma gweni dawo kuna loko buichwa yeni. If you say you were a revived Christian, you born again, take Isaiah 35. Read it on your knees and test every verse and ask yourself, is my life like this? Is this what I am like? If not, repent today. Before the sun goes down, turn to God in repentance and confess your sin. Even if you say you're as old as Methuselah, if you, your life isn't like this, it's time for you to repent to turn to God and ask him to change you like the desert into a garden that the glory of God will be seen in your life. No ma impilo yako uzbizu guti uli kolo no ma utu vuselele gile zibuzu guti impilo yako ya fana ini na lisi sashugo if vesi ne vesi, uma gunga fani, penduga guko, uguze upila wako, kubegu usha. Lodo sugu luana msanche, kubegu sugu doku penduga kwako. Noma usuti nginamate ifu, noma ungati sangu penduga imyake u 50, usati ngu penduga manche. Linga kasho ni langa, uvumi zono, so let this be the day of you repenting, turning from your sin, leaving them, and that you experience your life of a desert changing into a garden. Isaiah 35 is a perfect picture of a real Christian. And if your life 
isn't like this. Repent today. Don't say, I, I've repented 30 years ago or 40 years. It's high time that you repent, really repent, and that your life corresponds with Isaiah 35. Impilo yako, ui vivinye, uguti yafana inimishi na lawa mavisi. Astoba makana. Let us pray. Ngi chuli senkosi Ota Kuni wako Yanti Sakimija Ugusha Subam Amazi Ako, Angabuise, Atelis Telo, Ezinigi, and Pilwenia Lona Law. Work in a wonderful Lord that your word might not be in vain to us, but might produce the fruit in each life. Amen. Amen. Nishirut Kafushanej, Tatalis Laslu. Yema Tolwen Utanda so good in Kulunkulu, in Piloyam in Jenana, Umaying and Jalo, Penduga Nam Sanche Ungasho, Ugutu so Pendugi, Limyago fifty, Nome sixty, now a Musuya Gumuntu, Utuya Vuma Guye, Uma in Piloyake, Ingaham Sun in a land. So I have said the sermon will be short. Take this chapter. Go on your knees prayerfully and, and examine your life whether it is accordingly. And if not, then go and confess your sin. But don't go to a person whose life doesn't reflect this, these words that we have read. Even if you say, I've, I've been converted for 50 years, 60 years, all that means nothing if your life isn't accordingly and exactly the same as Isaiah 35. Now we can Musu go hamba uye kumuntu oyo shambulula uvumizono kumuntu ngayiphili lempilo ngoba kuzoba impumpute ekholwa enye impumpute And Christian if you are a useless Christian and a nix nuts don't go to someone to confess your sin if his life doesn't reflect these verses that we have read here. This should be a perfect picture of your life. And if your wife, your children, your neighbors, the rest of the church can't testify to that, repent today. Turn to God in repentance and walk this way of holiness, which is God's way. Zivivinyege, ugutimpilo yako, iafana ini, na lingwati, uguti nina wabantwana, na bantwana bako, no makelwana, baya fundi ini lento, impilwe nyako, guenjalo, kumele gutu penduge, Impilo yaki fana na lingwati esi fundile. Uzi vivinye ke manchi. Yane kaya funa 
Isaiah 35, Ubuze, Ubuze Nomgako, Ubuze Nenganezak, Ubuze Nomakelwane, Uguti Impiloyami, Ingenaini, Uma Ingeko, Uma Lindi, Ugutu Fige Namibia, Lapilanga, Kuma Lapalier Lap. So examine your life. Take this word. You can even ask your wife and your children, is my life reflecting this chapter? And if not, you don't have to go to Namibia to see the wasteland and the desert. Change, you can change. And your life can be transformed to be like what we have read in chapter 35. No, Mungati, you pen duge. So we miyake nga mashuma isan. Stop. Agu sholu to lok. Bani nga bantu epa ipelini. Ebe abebe pila iskate site. Koto istrino. Balash. And don't console yourself that you've been a Christian for 50 or 60 years. Even in the Bible we read of people who lived right, but at the, the end was not good. So please go home. I'm stopping now. Read Isaiah 35. Ask yourself, is this a perfect picture of my life? If not, repent today. Turn to God today, even if you're a counselor and call yourself a co-worker. There are people that end in the wrong place and that will happen to you if you don't live according to this chapter. Isaiah 35 Uguze uma inge inge njalo upenduga namhlanje Uguze impilo yako upeta wempilo yako kube upeto uguze kwa baba ningi haba peti gase Siabonga kutsu kutolizu ilako Dikanya pa ngapezu kukanya kwe langa Siakela mkusu Izu ilako lsebenze manje mpilwe ni alo na lo. Ilo na lo aiso lisise. Ugutu pila le mpilo ini no maka. Lord Jesus, now we thank you for your word, which is brighter than the light of the sun. And where you can, we can examine ourselves, whether we live according to it. Sia hamba ini. Kulumendo ongwele, lakunga hambi ongolile ukona. That whether we walk on this holy way, where no unclean person walks. Amen. Amen. Ngeicho lisenkosi. Amen.